So coming back, had the world changed since that incident in Detroit? You're flying back to the United States. Uh, did you notice anything different? <sighs> Security was ridiculous. It was ridiculous, okay? I mean, I, I flew through Paris on the way back, and I mean, leaving Cairo, security was, uh, was normal. You know, it wasn't that bad. But getting on the plane in Paris to Detroit, we went through at least four security checkpoints. And it was no longer just, you know, take off your shoes and put them in the bin. They went through every single handbag, carry-on item, diaper bag. We were all patted down. We had to remove our shoes, remove our scarves, remove our jackets. I mean, they were patting down babies, <laughs> going through every single pocket. It took two hours. Once we got to the gate, we had to go through all of this again. It took two hours just to get on the flight. Security was ridiculous. You know, so I was delayed coming home too, but it's like everybody's just operating out of fear, I guess. And I mean, we want to be safe, but sometimes there's like a knee-jerk reaction to just automatically assume that everybody's carrying explosives in their underwear, <laughs> you know? And I just thought it was a little, it was a little over the top.